So let's take a look at one of the newer MTGA uh, extensions, MTGA Assistant. Uh, this extension has a lot of cool features. Uh, in addition to deck tracking and draft helper, there's also a lot of uh, other tools we have uh, built in. Uh, first, I want to talk about the uh, collection summary. Uh, basically a list of uh, your whole collection uh, divided into colors and rarities and also the total progress of the whole uh, collection and it's also divided by unique cards so every if you own one of a card it will uh, show up here it will, it will count as a percentage in this progression bar there are also a couple of cards called non-craftable cards, so these can be rewar rewards or it can be time-limited uh, cards that can be acquired uh, that you're not uh, able to craft. Some of these cards include rewards from the open beta. Uh, there's also a set summary where we summarize each and every set and your prog progression in each of them. Under Acquired Cards, you will see uh, cards that you've recently acquired. Uh, cards that uh, turns into gems or dust will uh, not show up here, because they are not added to your collection. So uh, these cards will only be uh, new cards that you don't already have. The Deck Compare function is a very useful uh, function to compare any deck list. And the deck list can be uh, normal, uh, plain deck lists. Or it can also be an URL to uh, Etrohub deck. And in addition, of course, it also works with the traditional MTGA deck list. So I just put in a deck list here and it shows me that I'm missing one uncommon, which is the Angel of Vitality. And this will also take into account reprinted cards so that uh, you can rest assured that you don't have any copy of Angel of Vitality in any set uh, when it says that I'm missing, uh, missing this card. Moving on, uh, looking at uh, stats and tools. Uh, there is a list of uh, your decks uh, that you have in your uh, arena account. And by clicking this, it will export the deck to the eTrue website. So I can either open this on my uh, default browser or, or I can open this in the Overwolf browser, which I'll do now so you can show, uh, so I can show it off easily. So this will import all the cards in the deck into the eTrohub deck builder and from here you can save it or you can edit it or you can press import and uh, you have to be logged in to eTrohub uh, before uh, importing or you can edit the deck list in any way you you would like other things on this page is my drafts so this is a summary of your earlier drafts or the drafts you are currently in and it will show all your picks in uh, all of the packs. So uh, the reason I don't have the first picks here is that I've cleared my cache a couple of times. So those uh, disappeared. Uh, but as you can see here, it summarizes all the picks and all the choices in all the packs you've uh, gone through in the draft. First pick the Euthrophia. And there will be a list of all the drafts that you've played in. Account statistics is basically the ranks for the current season. Uh, we'll also be adding the ability to browse through earlier uh, seasons. And while we're on the subject of ranks, check out the uh, rankings page. So this is a global uh, constructed ranking ladder and a limited ranking ladder uh, for the current season with all the users of uh, MTGA Assistant. Uh, so to be part of this ladder, we have to do a bit more than just install the extension. So this is an opt-in ranking. Uh, you're not automat automatically put in this ranking. Um, I can find myself here by typing in this. So this is quite early in the season. I'm still uh, only on silver rank. Uh, so to be part of this ladder, and we also have um, first mythic players. It's uh, quite early in the season. So there's nobody in that list yet. I also have a recent opponent where I can see their nicks and what they played and a match ID, which might be useful if you have some bugs and want to report it. Uh, but short, uh, just to get how to get into the ladder, you have to log in with the eTrohub sync here. So I've synced my account. Uh, so there will be a button there for you to log in to the eTrohub website. 
uh, other things in settings as we can talk about before we go into the deck tracker uh, so this is the overview of how it looks so you can change uh, the way it looks here you can make it slimmer and you can remove uh, man icons or make it the way you want i prefer it this way I feel like slim mode is way too small and uh, it only works if you take away some of the options. Something like this might work if you prefer only knowing how many cards that are left in your library and not see the draw chance. But we're gonna use this for our example. So this is basically just a traditional deck tracker. So let's get into a match against uh, Sparky. As you can see at my starting hand, you will not see the deck tracker yet. It will only load after the game has started, uh, like this. Hovering the cards will show you an image of uh, the card. And this is the real card and not the MTJ card. And uh, this number means that I have four of this card in my library and I have a total of four cards in total of it. So seeing that I have two swamps in my hand, I can see that there's only seven of these cards left and for my next draw, uh, there's a 13% chance of drawing the card. So 25% chance to draw a swamp, 15% chance to draw a land, so this can be toggled away if you'd like, and also the chance of drawing a land versus drawing a non-land. And this works just, just like, like you would uh, expect. It updates every time uh, something changes. It's been put a lot of effort in, in making it as small and compact as possible and to not be in the way. So I believe this is probably the most compact uh, deck tracker out there right now. You can hide it away if you click this button. Uh, so enough of this, let's go and check the draft helper. The draft helper uses LSV's ratings and comments. Um, in the future we will uh, have some changes. Uh, we will make it so uh, you're able to uh, get other rankings as well. Uh, but this is very useful for uh, players and new players uh, to help them uh, pick their cards. As you can see hovering here from the top, it's the highest rated cards. Uh, and you can also see the cards in your collection. So for Temple of Malice, I, have, uh, I own three of this card and that is why it shows up red. Uh, all the cards I own four copies of uh, are shown as uh, four. So for this pack, since I need that extra temple, we will go for the greed pick and uh, go for the land in the first pack. And as the new cards come in, the cards changes in this list. Uh, and this also displays how many cards of this pack will wheel, uh, meaning that uh, after I picked one card, I will see five of these cards again. Uh, if you wonder about what cards wield earlier, you can click this button and it will show the draft you're in. So I can go back and look at my pack 1 and you can see that I drafted Temple of Malice and then I can uh, look at what cards might wheel and come back to me. So all in all, MTJ Assistant aims to be more than just a simple deck tracker and a draft helper. Uh, we want to expand a bit on the day game and making uh, community tools. Um, something that is coming very soon and might be out even uh, as you watch this video is the team function. Uh, so as you can see here, only I am in a team since I am an administrator and working on this. I've added myself to a team and uh, when clicking the team, it just says that it is in closed beta. So the idea here is that uh, if you join a team, you will have your own team ranking ladder and you can compare against your community or friends in the same team. And we are also working on having a way to compare teams against each other. Uh, so this list is also available on eatrohub.com, uh, like the whole constructed ranking list. You can find this under ranking ladders under community and it will be here. Uh, so the one in MTGA contains a little bit more details. It contains when they last played, if they played today or uh, they played. Uh... So you can see that these players played one day ago. Um, if they have played within 24 hours, it will say that it was updated today. 
We don't want to put the exact time here, uh, so that would be a bit too revealing, I think. And also we want to just keep this inside of the uh, assistant and not public uh, on the ladder that's on the website. And lastly, let's talk about the meta page. This is very useful, so, so we can get a quick overview of the current tier 1 meta game. And by clicking a simple button, the compare button, you can compare the meta deck to your own collection and see what card you are missing. It tells you what uncommon and what rares uh, you're missing. And you can basically just click any deck and see. And it also tells you if it's in the sideboard and in the main deck, making it very easy to, uh, if you play best of one, you only need the main deck. So another useful feature is the deck hub search engine. So with this, you can search directly uh, and you can search by cards, all the user decks on Etro hub. So this does not include the uh, meta decks. By clicking brawl, you can search for commanders like Torbran and click search. You can extend the search for this month. So select any deck I want. And then I get this uh, compare function again, where I can click compare. And this only this will, will only be seen inside of the Overwolf browser and not on your uh, normal web browser. And we also have tourney events uh, that are posted under this menu, uh, where you can browse all the recent tournaments and look at decks. These can also be compared to your collection or you can view them on EtroHub. We have deck videos from content creators. These can also be compared or viewed. Uh, we have write-ups. And we have some interesting deck stats from pulled from data on the website. So the extension can be found on mtgaassistant.net. I can download it from Overwolf. You might know Overwolf from other extensions. They are a big extension library and they have some of the biggest extensions in other games like Hearthstone. And games like Runeterra has their biggest uh, tracker from Mobalytics on this platform. And we're very happy with our cooperation with them. So you might have heard some bad things about Overwolf. So Overwolf is an extension platform that has many developers and some of them have made bad extensions. Uh, they are far more rigorous now than they were earlier uh, when testing apps and their platform is also a lot better than earlier they have gone from being a small indie company to a big company with about 70 to 80 employees so if you had any bad experiences with extension on this platform earlier or just have heard, heard bad things uh, i can ensure that today it is become very good and it really helps us out because with Overwolf, we have the ability to push a trusted Windows app uh, to all our clients without having to manually remind you to install every time there is an update. So all updates are pushed automatically, uh, so no issues there. Installation is super easy and they handle all of that for us and we can concentrate on what we do best and that is uh, coding. To give you some more background information, it's really easy to code with Overwolf. Uh, you can code in HTML and JavaScript, basically. It's basically the whole extension is a website overlaid onto the game. So that's really, that's really all there is. So if you are a dev and want to look into game extensions, uh, go do check them out. They have support for a lot of games and uh, we are one of the first ones building an extension for MTG Arena. There are a couple of other ones too, but I do have to say that we do have a lot of unique and cool functionality that I think you should check out for yourself and uh, you can look forward to a lot more uh, updates. I have a lot of cool ideas coming. There will soon be large community updates with teams and there's also a lot of other stuff coming down the pipeline. And this is it for this video. As always, uh, huge thanks to my Patreons. If you would like to support my work, there is a link to Patreon down in the description. And until next time, check out the assistant and tell me what you would like to see in the extension in future updates.